What's up guys, me Spencer. I'm back here on the Rebelug channel with a review of the 20th anniversary Anakin's Pod Racer set. This received a 6.96 out of 10 from 23 Rebelug member reviews, which scored it from 1 to 10 and also provided some opinions that I'll go through in just a second. This set has 266 pieces and it's 30 US dollars, which leaves it at around like uh, an 11 cent per piece uh, price to part ratio. Which isn't necessarily the worst, but it's still pretty brutal, uh, especially as this LEGO Star Wars line becomes more and more expensive. Emeth Parzfall on Instagram saying, A fairly well done design, however the price to piece count is greatly inflated, which is definitely something that I would probably agree with. But a lot of people also were really impressed by the design, which is what gave it uh, such a high score, especially for one of the, the lower priced sets at $30. Uh, so I believe it's the second high, highest priced set or third. So that was really that was really cool to see. Definitely really impressed. Uh, this model definitely really impressed a lot of Rebel Egg members uh, in terms of in terms of the design, uh, which I'll which I'll take you through right now, and then we'll get to the final verdict afterwards. Okay, so this is everything that we get in the set, everything that we get in the box, minus the extra pieces that I have since lost. Uh, of course, we get the Pod Racer and basically nothing else besides the minifigures, including the promotional Luke, Padme, and. Um, very young Anakin. This is certainly kind of strange to get in the same set someone's uh, the, the, the very young parents of, a, of an adult figure um, and in addition the very obviously much older mom than the like eight-year-old son or than the eight-year-old dad uh, but you know we'll just ignore all the weird Star Wars stuff that goes on and uh, yeah we'll get into the look at the pod racer. So due to the original design being so smart, we got a lot of really good looking colors going on here. And just, you know, I mean, the pod racer concept is also already so cool. And the way that these rigid tubes really just arc over, it gives honestly probably like the perfect look in terms of where like, you know, the cockpit thing where Anakin sort of rides in the pod racer, uh, attaches, how it attaches to these front two pods works out really well. And this gives off like the perfect sort of energy that the pod racer in the movie does. Um, someone pointed out to me that is this really a pod racer if it doesn't come with another pod racer? You know, is it really in a race? I don't know. Um, I don't know if I really would have wanted like the highest value set in this line to be a pod racer set. I'm glad that it was the slave one because if they started adding other pod racers into this, this would have become quite expensive. And they've already done that before. Uh, they're trying to recreate the original the original set, which was just the just Anakin's pod racer, which I think they've done a perfect job of here. This is you know probably the highest class uh, Anakin's pod racer model that we've gotten, and I'm going to show you why. I do have one little gripe with it uh, that I don't know how they would overcome and still have this sort of same uh, presence slash effect. These clear pieces in the middle with the tan connectors are trying their best to disguise it here. You know, they have the tan connectors, which I think is a pretty neutral color. Uh, these connectors and the ones that are inside of the clear pieces there. Sort of like, to either look like the sand below or just be a neutral color there. Uh, in addition to the clear pieces to sort of um, give the impression that, you know, they don't exist. But they obviously clearly do. And I wish that there was sort of like an opportunity to... Uh, not include those because I think this set would have such a more powerful look if it didn't have those because the original you know pod racer look is so powerful because of that reason uh, you would get the same effect here so I mean if you were interested if somebody has a set and they're fine with modding their sets that would be a mod that I would recommend is trying to make it so you can get rid of the clear pieces uh, of course it wouldn't be very swooshable you wouldn't be able to just you know like pick it up but it would look much better on display in my opinion if it was just those rigid tubes there that are clearly not rigid because they're flexing coming over here and attaching to the pods uh, pods themselves so you've probably noticed throughout this review how I'm easy how I'm kind of you know fine with just sort of pushing the model around and stuff like that uh, and not having it fall over that's because this is like impeccably well balanced uh, the designer must have had to have really uh, consciously thought about how they're going to balance this model with every single piece that they added so that there was just that the absolute center of gravity is resting right on this little uh, support here in the middle because as you're building this it doesn't balance until the very last second uh, which is really cool to see um, as I was building it I didn't 
exactly realize that that's where it was going to balance. I suppose I could have, you know, like looked at the box or something like that, but I was like, is it going to just balance in this little thing? And then once I put it all together, it all just perfectly rested uh, as you're seeing now. And it was really cool to see. Um, so that's great. Even though this is a very strange, a very strange model because, you know, like these are just supposed to be like, you know, barely attached to the, to like the carriage here and it's all supposed to be floating and they're trying to achieve it in Lego in the real world. Uh, they've done kind of a great job of sort of making it still stable and just trying to achieve the right look. In terms of achieving the right look, they've pretty much figured that out as good as you can get it for a Lego set. Of course, if you're trying to achieve uh, a perfectly screen accurate and just, you know, no gaps, no compromises, uh, pod, Anakin's pod racer model, I would recommend you, you try and build your own mock or find instructions for one online. Uh, that's definitely the approach to go in my opinion. Uh, or especially if you're trying to become a better builder, but if you're just looking for a set to buy and display or play around with, or if it's you know for a younger one or something, this is definitely a really solid looking model. I won't go into the to the particulars of the value, but if you're just interested in how good of a model it is, uh, this is definitely really super strong in terms of the accuracy and the, the you know the look that it's trying to give off. One of my favorite parts is probably the, the simplicity of these like wing things here. These uh, really. Uh, sort of distinguish this as Anakin Spot Racer in my opinion from the movie those are things that stand out to me and then they they are instantly recognizable uh, on the Pod Racer model itself here. These engines look really great as I mentioned there's just a lot of great colors here for the Lego designers to work with which I'm sure they were really happy about because they just they all go together really well in such a great combination even though they are very you know bright and strange colors. There's kind of one janky part where these like uh, things sort of aren't entirely attached ad, attached very well um, but that's okay because once they're on there they're sort of you know not moving around even when you throw the set around and stuff like that and try and swoosh it and whatever we get these super long sort of gunmetal ish color rigid tubes that go all the way to the back I love getting rigid tubes because in my opinion I think they're they're legal to cut and they're a lot of fun to to build uh, mocks with uh, your own creations and stuff like that there's a bunch of stickers on the front which were super annoying to apply but they give off that, you know, cool design look. There are a lot of wild stickers in the set, uh, especially as we get back towards the, the back carriage. I'll show them to you. Uh, but it kind of reminded me of when all those people were building those those Gark uh, ship things, which had, you know, lots of different stickers on them and stuff like that. Lots of uh, just regular Lego stickers to make them look like space race cars and stuff like that. And this would definitely be a cool set for that if people are still into that. I don't know if they are. We get these Palpatine lightning pieces in a, in a dark trans pink-ish color uh, which looks super cool in my opinion it's another great color that they have to work with uh, to give this a really great look um, and they just they just like alternate them so they sort of cross each other again I think this would look much cooler uh, without these giant cross beams in the middle um, you can only imagine what that would look like maybe I'll do like a mod video for that uh, same with building the the stand for the slave one so if you're interested in that let me know down in the comments because I think I'm definitely interested in it. I don't know how long these sets are gonna gonna stay together in my collection because I really want you know some of these pieces like these these brown things right here these brown uh, Technic cylinder pieces there's some cool details also below there's like these these bronze minifigure swords here at the on the bottom uh, that sort of attach and just give some extra agreeable so I'll try and get um, an angle for us to, to see what I'm talking about there's also some other dark orange pieces here on the bottom um, and they just attach these uh, upside down pieces with hinges so they just like did a stud reversal there with a hinge and I think that's kind of a cool technique that I that often doesn't really cross my mind for trying to achieve just some nice looking surface scribbles and stuff like that I'll have to to you know like incorporate that into my thought process when trying to to do mocks and and whatever some similar things going on with just those hinges, but you know, they're just more like flaps and whatever. I don't think there's much else to see here. It's just these cones whenever we can move back to the to the carriage here at the back, which now we can see all the stickers that I was talking about. There's lots of blue and yellow and red marks on these different stickers that are really cool to get if you're trying to just make something custom. I think that they're pretty they're pretty out there, they're pretty unique, but they're also probably pretty wildly useful because they don't have, you know, like specific things on them. They're just like random designs that 
I, I guess Anakin would have put on there. I don't know. Uh, but they certainly are neat to look at uh, and maybe use. I don't know. We get one big sticker here on the front, if I can get a good good angle of that. It has just, you know, a similar looking design to the other ones. It's just much bigger and all blue. So lots of cool pieces to go around in this set. I don't know if it's it's as cool as piece of pieces as the as the slave one or something because you end up with just a lot of the the weird pieces like these like these yellow hinged things or whatever. Uh, but you get just a bunch of a dark gray curved slopes and these new um, what do you call them? They're like rounded uh, one by two with the whole uh, plate pieces right there. I really like those ones. And uh, yeah, there's also we can flip this over. I want to show you how these rigid tubes attach. There's like these skeleton arm sort of pieces there. I believe they're from like Ninjago skeletons or something like that, that just sort of arc down. They're just attached. There's there's like three sets of hinges here, or three uh, three bar sections, um, because there's a, there's a two wide one and then a one wide one. You get one of those, or you get two of those uh, one wide bar clip things, which are new and have some interesting use cases because they're rounded in the back. Uh, but uh, one of the robot arms attaches to the one, and then these upper flaps attach to the two one, and then in the middle of the upper flap connection goes the goes the second uh, skeleton arm, which is pretty. Which I was like, oh, that's that's pretty smart um, when I was building it. And uh, yeah, that's where the this is also where the the bottom clear pieces attach, which make me think that this could be relatively simple to just sort of pop off uh, for a mod. I'm not sure, uh, but they use those like plates with the with the Technic pins on the bottom to do so. And uh, yeah, there's not really much else to go through here. I can show you. Actually, the last thing I want to show you is just putting Anakin in the in the pod racer carriage, and then uh, yeah, we'll go through the through the minifigures. So this is a little dumb. This is a little wonky. We get the we get the the rigid don't move uh, like little children minifigure legs here that. I wasn't sure if they were being phased out because they were moving in with the with the medium legs that I'll show you later later that uh, Amadala has. Um, I wasn't sure if those were being or those were replacing these, but apparently they're not. Those are more like medium legs because you just sort of like stand Anakin in here now because he has those like little tiny legs, and then he just. I mean, it's a good. It's actually a pretty okay look from every. From every other angle, in my opinion, I suppose. But if you ever look at him from the top down, or when you put him in, it's definitely a little strange to see him directly standing in there. I guess I can show you what he looks like when he's just sort of standing in there. Uh, if I can get, yeah, you guys can see what I'm talking about. I don't know. This maybe it's not that goofy, but I think it's a little. It's just the wonkiness of Lego minifigure proportions is is totally out there. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get into the minifigures. Well, these are our three minifigures. We get these two very awkwardly proportioned sort of like child teenager minifigures. And then we get their son, a uh, full grown uh, Luke Skywalker here. Um, so yeah, I guess we can get into to the details of the three of them. So I think this is the most exciting minifigure that we get in the whole set. Uh, we get this new um, episode one Tatooine Padme Amidala figure. Uh, we've only gotten two of these before, and they were pretty wildly different. One of them was from way back with the yellow heads and stuff like that. So uh, in addition to getting these new poseable mini legs and stuff like that, which I don't have any of these yet, um, we get a totally new torso also and a new uh, hair mold. I'm not sure if the hair mold's been used somewhere else, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, actually new. So this is about as detailed as Lego hair can get. There's lots of different things going on hair terms i don't know what they're different what the different hair terms are uh, but very interesting very cool to see a very intricate mold uh, for very intricate style of, of a character you know she always has to do something totally wild she also has an alternate face this like angry angry face that still looks uh feminine uh, so another you know useful female face uh, which is cool to see because I wish that they would put, you know, more just variety of faces when they get the chance, but then they always just put like the angry clone uh, head. So, you know, cool to see more um, more faces out there. Uh, there's sort of like textured print on the back, you know, just more Lego showing off how good at printing they're getting. 
and it has like sort of just a little little curves in the side to, to make sure you know that it's like a feminine torso or something. Um, moving on to the front, it did sort of the same thing, same sort of texture, and there's a little uh, red mark. This is definitely the most detailed uh, Princess Amidala figure. The only the only uh, you know sort of sucky part is how they tried to do like a skin tone right there, I guess. Uh, but that clearly did not work out very well because that is this is not the same color as this uh, but i guess they tried their hardest i suppose that's something lego's never really been good at except well clearly they have the blue down they just don't have the the skin tones down which i don't know skin tones are arguably like the most important part and uh she she comes with a blaster because it's star wars state you can't not have a blaster even though i don't know why she would have this like huge a uh, huge blaster in this situation. Um, it's a Star Wars set. They can't not have a blaster, but they also can't make it uh, a screen accurate blaster. So, so whatever. Uh, these these new legs are pretty interesting. I'm I'm kind of excited to get my 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 first pair. Um, I think the people that are probably maybe the most excited might be like the animators or something like that. Uh, but they are. They are kind of a sight to behold after looking at regular legs for so long, super tall legs. But seeing as that Anakin still comes with the rigid short legs, this is apparently supposed to be like medium legs or something. I don't know, to represent like a teenager, even though they just uh, look more or less strange because the, the top of the body is still totally, you know, regular proportions, but then they just ha basically don't have shins. Uh, so... I don't know. I don't know what Lego. I don't know what. I don't know what Lego should do. Uh, I guess Lego figures are already strange as they are. I forget if I mentioned it, but all the figures are actually new in this set. Uh, this is this is new because first of all, he doesn't have uh, any hair in the set. He just has the, the the racing helmet with the goggles and stuff like that, which look pretty strange when they go all the way down. They look kind of goofy, but it's okay uh, because. You know, they they would be flexible goggles or stuff like that. They would have a flexible strap, but these are just, you know, rigid plastic. So, whatever, I'll live with it. Um, and then this is actually a new torso print. It's, like, slightly different from the one from 2015-16 uh, because there's there's a couple different uh, varieties of the torsos that they'll try and make depending on the scene. And this is the one that has that, like, necklace on it and stuff like that. And it's just slightly different in terms of, like, the belt and just... The, the way that they the way that they designed it but it's it's still pretty similar it's not a very exciting figure you know getting the very young eight-year-old Anakin and again with the rigid tan legs uh, so these are not posable as you can probably tell and there's a little bit of printing on the back and just I don't know you see what you, what you see is what you get there's also an alternate face where he's just like focused or something I don't know In this one he's smiling as uh, eight-year-old Anakin actor does. And then this is the classic Luke Skywalker. Not a lot of interesting stuff to, to look at, I suppose, if you have any sets with this very, very similar uh, rebel um, pilot helmet, or rebel pilot torso, torso print that this one has, and the same with the helmet. Uh, I probably have a handful of these in my collection, uh, except for the, the head. I don't know if I would even have this sort of head in my collection unless I got it from, you know, someone else's collection or something like that. Uh, but again, I've expressed sort of my opinion on the the promotional figures throughout the other reviews, where they sort of impacted the value of the overall set. So it sort of comes down to you whether you you're sort of hit with the nostalgia of the the 20 years Lego Star Wars sort of thing. Um, I don't. I highly doubt these are going to be you know really valuable in the future honestly because this isn't really a limited line of sets uh, but if you're trying to collect all five of them it could be pretty cool thank you to lego for sending on over all five of them uh, but uh yeah so as sort of a final verdict this set doesn't have any like single massive drawback in my opinion uh nothing that is terribly pulling it down uh seeing as that it's you know, sort of near the bottom of the price bracket, uh, the the value of the promotional figure starts to starts to pull down the set. You know, if you didn't have the promotional figure in here, this might have been a much more solid value. Or if there was another figure in here, uh, like one of the other Rebel Leg members said, which I'll read right now, um, it starts to 
become, you know, less worth it. Uh, Noah, H2 Brick saying, Playability and small details around the engines are interesting. The set could have a couple more figures in it, though, to make it more worth the price. And uh, Jason from Lego Mania saying, My personal favorite set in the wave, there's nothing crazy, but nothing bad either. This Pod Racer looks good, and the hairpiece on Padme is great, uh, which is definitely something that I would agree with, and probably something that you, you know, you saw me agree with throughout the throughout the review. So I'm gonna say that this is definitely a really strong set, and it definitely deserves that basically seven out of ten uh, from from the Rebel Leg uh, members, which is a positive positive review. Anything above above a five is a positive for me, and it's pretty getting up there towards a ten. Um, it's not as high as the Slave One, uh, but it does have a better value than the Slave One purely. Um, in terms of the, the the quantitative value, I guess that I can't really speak for your your subjective value of the Slave One versus Anakin's Pod Racer. But that's about everything I have to say. Uh, you can check out my channel, Lego Spencer, where I make you know videos about building and stuff like that. And subscribe to the Rebelog channel uh, for all kinds of videos from uh, across our around 40 members uh, pretty soon. So thank you for watching. Leave a like and stuff like that. And thank you for Lego for sending over the 20th anniversary sets. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.